Mm -hmm. For today, another communicable disease because we are going to discuss about tuberculosis. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nia Grab and I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational videos to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my videos two to three times in a week. Don't miss it out. Subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi nurses, for today we are going to discuss about tuberculosis. Yes, I am so excited about this discussion because one of you guys requested this and I am so thrilled. Thank you, thank you so much for requesting. I will give you everything that you need to know in order for you to be ready and prepared with this concept. Now in order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome sa ating formal discussion ng iyong pulmonary tuberculosis nursing care. One of you guys actually requested this and eto na nga po siya. Now, handa ka na, simulan na natin ang ating discussion. Medyo mahaba ito. Let me share to you our objectives for today. We're gonna have description, definition of terms po yan, causes, clinical manifestation, uh, complications, assessment and diagnostic findings, medical management, pharmacological treatment, and of course, Course, nursing interventions. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. All right. First up, description. Let's define once and for all what is your tuberculosis. Is an acute or chronic infection caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is characterized by pulmonary infiltrates, formation of granulomas with cessation, fibrosis, and cavitization. Scaring up. Now, tuberculosis is an infectious disease that primarily affects the lung parenchyma. It is also may be transmitted to other parts of the body, including the meninges, kidney bones and lymph nodes. Ito yung kapag hindi naagapan yung iyong um, PTB, pwede siyang mag-travel yung mycobacterium, tuberculosis, so other parts of the body yung meninges natin sa kidneys, bones, and lymph nodes and can cause further damage sa katawan ng ating pasyente. The primary infectious agent is yun nga, mycobacterium tuberculosis. This is an acid-fast aerobic rod, meaning it requires oxygen. Aerobic, naalala mo yung konsepto ng aerobic um, um, uh, bacterias natin. Kaya mapapansin mo sa x-ray, nasa taas o nasa baba yung ating, yung mga parang whitish spot natin nasa taas. Because it requires oxygen. It needs more oxygen. Kaya nandun siya sa area kung saan mas maraming source of oxygen. Now, this grows slowly and is sensitive to heat and ultraviolet light. Alright, so what is the causes of your tuberculosis? Now, close contact. Having close contact with someone who who has an active PTB. Ano pa? Low immunity. Immunocompromised status like those with HIV, cancer, or transplanted organs increases the risk of acquiring tuberculosis. Substance abuse. People who are IV or injection drug users and alcoholics have a greater chance of acquiring tuberculosis. Why? Kasi weak ang kanilang immune system, you guys. Now, inadequate health care. Any person without adequate health care, like the homeless, impoverished, and the minorities often develop active TB. Yung mga slum areas, yun yun eh. Immigration. Immigration from countries with high prevalence of TB could affect the patient. Ano pa? Overcrowding. Good examples, the slums of Tondo. Yes. Living in an overcrowded substandard housing increases the spreading of the infection. Okay, now remember nang yung PTB is what? Transmitted through airborne. Yes, sa mga crowded area, yung mga less ventilated, may mga poor ventilations, mga slums talaga tondo, very catriona gray. Ayun, malaki yung chances na magkahawaan. Now, let's proceed. What are the clinical manifestations of your tuberculosis? Eto na siya. After an incubation period of 4 to 8 weeks, TB is usually asymptomatic in primary infection. 
remember, asymptomatic in primary infection. Pero meron tayo mga clinical signs and symptoms. We have your non-specific symptoms. Now, non-specific symptoms may be produced such as fatigue, weakness, anorexia, weight loss, night sweats, ito yung uh, afternoon night sweats, and low-grade fever with fever and night sweats as the typical hallmarks of tuberculosis. Alam mo yung nilalagnat sa hapon, yung bago, magda- bago magabi, yun yun. Ano pa? Cough. The patient may experience cough with mucopurulent sputum. Ano yung mucopurulent sputum? Ito yung ano yung ma- maplema. Hemoptysis. Nako, malala na ito. Occasional hemoptysis or blood on the saliva is common in TB patients. Blood in the sputum. Chest pains. The patient may also complain of chest pain as part of discomfort. Next, complications. What are the complications of your tuberculosis? Ito na siya. Now, if left untreated or any mistreated, pulmonary tuberculosis may lead to the following. Respiratory failure. Respiratory failure is one of the most common complications of your pulmonary tuberculosis. What else? Pneumothorax. Pneumothorax becomes a complication when tuberculosis is not treated properly. Pneumonia, one of the most fatal complications of tuberculosis is pneumonia as it could cause infection all over the lungs. Now, how are you going to assess and how are you going to diagnose PTB? To diagnose tuberculosis, the following tests could be performed. Ano yung una? Sputum culture. Yes, positive for mycobacterium tuberculosis in the active stage of the disease. What else? Ziel, Nielsen, or your acid fast stain applied to a smear of body fluid. Positive for acid fast bacilli ay yung AFB nga po ang hinahanap natin when we're doing your acid fast stain. Skin tests. Purified protein derivative o yung ating PPD or old tuberculin administered by intradermal injection o yung ating MANTU test. A positive reaction area of induration of 10 millimeters or greater according to 48 to 72 hours after interdermal injection of the antigen. This indicates past infection and the presence of antibodies but is not necessarily indicative of active disease. Factors associated with a decrease response to tuberculin include underlying viral or bacterial infection, malnutrition, lymphadenopathy, overwhelming TB infection, insufficient antigen injection, and conscious or unconscious bias. A significant reaction in a patient who is clinically ill means that active TB cannot be dismissed as a diagnostic possibility. What else? Enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay on your most common western blot may reveal presence of HIV. Now, chest x-ray may show small patchy infiltrations of early lesions in the upper lung field. What did I tell you? Upper lung field nga po kasi ito ay aerobic bacteria. Calcium deposits of healed primary lesions or fluid of an infusion. Changes indicating more advanced TB may include cavitations, scar tissue, or fibrotic areas. Ano pang mga test mo? CT scan or MRI scan. This determines degree of lung damage and may confirm a difficult diagnosis. Bronchoscopy. This will show inflammation and in altered lung tissue. This may also be performed to obtain sputum if patient is unable to produce an adequate specimen. Histologic or tissue cultures, including gastric washings, urine, and cerebrospinal fluid. We can also add skin biopsy. Positive mycobacterium tuberculosis and may indicate extrapulmonary involvement. Needle biopsy of lung tissue. Positive for granulomas of TB. Presence of giant cells indicating necrosis. Electrolytes. This may be abnormal depending on the location and severity of infection. Example nga nito yung hyponatremia caused by abnormal water retention may be found in extensive chronic pulmonary TB. You have your ABGs. May be abnormal depending on location, severity, and residual damage to the lungs. Pulmonary function studies. Decreased vital capacity, increased dead space, increased ratio of residual air to total lung capacity, and decreased oxygen saturations are secondary to parenchymal infiltration or fibrosis. Loss of lung tissue and pleural disease. This is actually common sa mga extensive chronic pulmonary TB. Now, what are the medical management of your PTB? TB medications normally last 
for 6 to 12 months. Ang gamutan nga po nito ay kalahating taon to pinakamatagal na yung isang taon. Decreased activity. You need to instruct patient to do minimal or to decrease activity. This is really to preserve energy kasi nga less yung auto may parasite na kumukuha ng auto ng pasyente mo. Kaya hirap sa paghinga. Bukod pa doon ay para ma-avoid yung spread of infection. Ano pa? Respiratory isolation nga po ang pinapayo natin sa mga pasyente merong um, positive sa tuberculosis until negative sputum is obtained. Frequently outpatient basis. Isa sa mga medical management na ating PTB ay ang encouragement of compliance to treatment kasama na doon yung regular checkup as outpatient basis. Yung mga pasyente namang hindi, hindi naman wala namang indication for inpatient stay, they can go out as outpatient. The treatment of tuberculosis diseases ay nahahati nga po sa tatlo. Yung initial phase natin, this starts from the first eight weeks of treatment. Most bacilli kill during this phase and we use four drugs to start your initial phase. Ano naman yung continuation phase? Now, this is after the first eight weeks of TB disease treatment. Bacilli remaining after initial phase are treated with at least two drugs. Now, relapse. This occurs when treatment is not continued for long enough. Surviving bacilli may cause TB disease at a later time. Nangyayari yung relapse phase natin kapag ang pasyente ay uncompliant. Mamaya i-discuss natin yung about sa uh, drug resistant uh, bacteria natin. But these are your phases of the management for your TB. So, what are the pharmacological treatment? Mm, naabangan mo to. Nako, panigurado meron ka ng idea. Okay, we have your, tandaan mo to, ripes, hinug na. Mm -mm. Nalala mo yan? Umpisa natin sa R, R, for rifampicin. Okay? Now, rifampicin is a theriocidal agent that turns the urine and other body secretions into orange or red and has a common side effects of hepatitis, febrile reaction, por Pura, nausea, and vomiting. Ano yung dapat mong i-watch out sa rifampicin? Ang rifampicin po natin ay hepatotoxic. So you really need to observe for any signs uh, hepatotoxicity and um, baseline LFT, AFT should be done, okay? Isoniazid. Isoniazid po natin ang pinaka um, toxic, uh, this can cause peripheral neuritis. Doon mo malalaman na nagkakaroon na ng adverse effect ang yung pasyente. INH nga po o yung ating isoniazid is a bactericidal agent that is used as prophylaxis for neuritis and has side effects of peripheral neuritis, hepatic enzyme elevation, hepatitis, and hypersensitivity. What else? P4 pyrazinamide. Now, pyrazinamide is a bactericidal agent which increases the uric acid. Hence, kailangan mo bantayan ang uric acid level ng iyong pasyente. Ang common side effect niya ay hyperuricemia o yung increase uric acid acid in blood, hepatotoxic din po ito, skin rash, arthralgias, and GI distress. What else? You have your etambutol. Now, ang pinaka-common side effects niya, it, this can cause visual neuritis. Etambutol is also a bacteriostatic agent that should be used with caution with renal disease and has common side effects of optic neuritis and skin rash. Lastly, streptomycin. This is the most effective antibacterial agent known for for tuberculosis. It has a marked bacteriostatic action on the tubercle bacillus and in vivo it tends to exert a deterrent effect on the disease in both animals and man. Dapat mong tandaan ng streptomycin mo nakakabungol yan o totoxic yan. Get, bantayan mo yung pagpandinig pag ng pasyente mo because that is an indicative of uh, adverse effects sa pasyente mo. Kapag nakastreptomycin na at nabubungol yung pasyente mo o oh, kamalma ka, ma-alert ka na. Ano pa, nephrotoxic nga rin po ang ating streptomycin. So, just be mindful about your urine and output and other signs of nephrotoxicity, okay? Oh, neuritis. Huwag malilito ha. Nalala mo to, mga neuritis, neuritis na yan, mga peripheral neuritis. Pag sinabi nating neuritis, this is basically itis, itis, inflammation of the nerve, okay? Now, two antibiotics, isoniazid and rifampicin for six months is normally the, the medication of choice. Two additional antibiotics, pyrazinamide and etambutol for the first two months of the six-month treatment period. Naalala mo, six to twelve months nga po ang, pin ang gamutan ng ating 
PTB. Now, after taking antibiotics for two weeks, most people are no longer infectious and feel better. Isa ito sa mga common uh, misconception ha. Ang pasyente ay nakapaggamutan na for two weeks ay hindi na po siya infectious. But we still need to practice, you know, airborne precaution and isolate the patient. Compliance to medication nga po is very important. If you stop or if the patient stop taking his or her antibiotics before he or she complete the course of or skipped a dose, the TB infection may become what? Resistant. Tandaan mo to. This is very important. Resistant to antibiotics. Yung mga drug resistance natin, ayaw mo nun. Kaya very important kapag nagagamutan ng pasyente sa uh, tuberculosis compliance to treatment compliance to medication all right now what are your nursing interventions and ka na ba ito na po tayo yes as nurses we need to promote airway clearance the nurse instructs the patient about correct positioning to facilitate drainage and to increase fluid intake to promote systemic hydration ano pa you as a nurse should encourage adherence to the treatment regimen. The nurse should teach the patient that TB is a communicable disease and taking medications is the most effective means of preventing transmission. What else? Promoting activity and adequate nutrition. The nurse plans a progressive activity schedule that focuses on increasing activity, tolerance, and muscle strength, and a nutritional plan that allows for small frequent meals. What else? Ato pa, bilang nurse, ano pang gagawin mo? You need to to instruct your patient or encourage preventing spread of tuberculosis infection. The nurse carefully instructs the patient about important hygienic measures including mouth care, covering the mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, proper disposal of tissues and hand washing. Very important nga pa ang cough etiquette and hand washing ang pinaka nire-recommend natin to break the spread of infection. What else? Acid fast bacillus isolation. The nurse should initiate AFB isolation immediately, including the use of a private room with a negative pressure in relation to surrounding areas and a minimum of six air changes per hour. Now, what else? Place a covered trash can nearby or tape a lined bag to the side of the bed to dispose of used tissues. Ay mo namang pakalat-kalat yung tissue, ma'am. Siya kasi, just ko nakakadiri yun. At that is not really one way preventing the spread of infection. Okay? Now, as a nurse, you need to monitor adverse effects. Be alert for the adverse effects of medications. Diniscuss natin yung kanina, ha? So, kung gusto mong balikan, balikan mo yung slide na yun. But, but one of your nursing responsibility is to monitor and be be aware of the adverse effects of the medications. Most of those medications are hepatotoxic and um, nephrotoxic. And once you observe any adverse effects, you might want to prompt the doctor to do some immediate intervention to the patient. Now, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like and share and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. You guys, we've been really growing and I want to Thank you for all the love and support that you've given me to my channel. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po. Huwag kalimutang ipamalita sa Radyong Sera ang ating YouTube channel, ha? Ang ating Team Cool to. Kasi dito, ito ang pinakabago at pinakalibreng review center sa balat ng YouTube. I'll see you again, nurses. You have a good one. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. Oh, you're already here. Might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. Put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. We'll be putting the links on the description box. So simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe. I'll see you again.